Hi guys, Bubble Pop Kids here. I went shopping, bought tons and tons of new beauty things, and I can't wait to show them to you. Right here in front of me, I have a table filled with tons of my new beauty treats. We have everything from bronzing powder, we have these super cute eyeshadows, mascara, you name it, everything is here. We even have another bubble tea sleeping cream. I love those. We get some little panda hand cream new makeup brushes and beauty tools and look at these candy lip balms and glosses i found tons of new lip glosses lip crayons eye pencils what do you guys see we get started and look at everything of course i needed somewhere to put and organize all of this cute stuff so i bought another beauty tray all of these different compartments for the blush mascara brushes lip gloss i cannot wait to fill it First beauty product we're going to be looking at is the sleeping pack. Now the sleeping pack is kind of like a beauty cream. You can wear it at night, makes your skin super smooth, and it's bubble tea scented. It's green tea. These are so cute. They kind of look like a little bubble tea drink or a latte. Let me show you. I love these. I tried one the other day in strawberry flavor and I just fell in love with it. My skin is so silky. And now we get the green one. Oh, look at this. This looks like something you would get at Starbucks. It's got that little coffee cup and all those little bubbles in there. And to add a cute and realistic touch, it also comes with a little spoon so we can spoon out those beauty beads. Check it so out. As you guys know, I love my makeup and my lip glosses, but I also love keeping my skin so soft and nice and clean. So this is basically what you do with this. You open it up, take this little piece off. <laughs> there is the beauty serum. I've never smelled this one before. It does smell like green tea. It's got a faint smell of green tea. It's super jelly. Oh, it's really, really cold. I don't know why. It feels like it's been in the fridge or the freezer, but it hasn't. It just has this really cool sensation. It's so soft. So basically what you do is you wash your face at night, take all of the makeup off. Then you get your little spoon here. You reach into the bottom of this cup and pull out one of these little beads. There it is. So normally in like the real bubble tea that you drink, these are little tapioca pearls. They're so sweet and you chew them while you're drinking. But in this case, this is a beauty tool. So you're just gonna mash it with your fingers, just like that, until it's nice and jelly-like. Swish it around and you pat it on your face. You could use one or two of those little beads. I think one is enough. And then you can just scoop out a little bit more of this green jelly stuff. Swish it around on your hands, pat it all over your nose, under your eyes, your cheeks. And when you wake up in the morning, your skin is so nice and relaxed. It's glowing. <laughs> I really suggest this product. It is so cool. I think it was like $12 or $13 by Etude House. And I gotta get more flavors of this. Speaking of moisturizing, while I was out, I also found two more moisturizers. They happen to both be Korean Beauty. I love, love, love my Korean Beauty. It's so cool. It's got the cutest little packaging. So the first one is called Panda's Dream White Hand Cream. And I have tried this before, but I don't think it was this exact one. Look at this cute little panda bear. So you just twist off the top. There it is. And if you've never felt something like this, it is kind of like a lip balm texture. It's so silky, super light. It has the most amazing smell. Not like your normal lotion that's kind of very watery. This is more balmy. It's got such a good texture. It smells like flowers and fruit. <laughs> kind of like a fruit salad with a little bit of a floral scent. It's so light and fresh and it never leaves your hands greasy. So I got that one. Sometimes I like to keep that in my room on like my little vanity. And I have a smaller one that I pop in my purse to travel with. The next one is a banana sleep pack. This is another Korean Beauty skincare line by Tony Moly, and it's a sleeping pack just like the bubble tea one, except this is banana flavor. And I have a lotion, it's a little bit smaller, and when I tell you this smells like a real banana, you feel like you've just popped open the real thing. 
On the package, it's called Magic Food Banana, and it's a banana sleeping pack that focuses on rich moisturization and nutrition supply. So this is not a hand lotion, it's actually a face lotion, and before you go to sleep, you wash your face just like the bubble tea one. You pop a little bit on your hand. Looks like a mustard bottle. Ugh, that smell, it smells like a banana cream pie. I cannot even take it. This makes me so hungry, wanting like bananas. Oh, it's so good, it smells like sugar. So this is the texture of it. It looks like a regular hand cream, but it's really not. It is so silky, almost like jelly-like. So after you wash your face, you pat it all over, rub it under your eyes, and when you wake up in the morning, your skin is so soft, <laughs> you're gonna be smelling like a little banana. So for the moisturizing department of beauty, these are my three new ones, a banana face cream, bubble tea face cream, and this Panda's Dream hand cream. I love all of them. Let's move on. And for the rest of the video, I'm gonna be smelling like fruit. My hands are so silky soft. So the next things I bought, I needed some new eyeshadow, and I got two different ones. This one is called Stay Wild from the Wet n Wild line, and I love these. Both of them are kind of the same colors. They're natural and nudes, but they do have like hints of shimmer. I love to wear those kind of colors. This is Bohemian Rhapsody. It's also limited edition colors, which is kind of nice to have. Let's pop it open. Ooh, look at that. All three of these colors are so beautiful. This one, I'd say, is kind of like a purpley champagne color. It's got so much dimension. The middle one is like a bronze, but inside of that bronze, there's so many twinkling little sparkles. And this one is like a super light gold. I have used the Wet n Wild products before. They're not my favorite. They don't have the best like texture for eyeshadows, but when I saw these colors, I just had to have this. So we're gonna swatch them out. This is the first time I'm trying them. Ooh, look at that. And <laughs> that is so, so pretty. It's really light, it's kind of sheer. <gasps> Such a nice color. I love the bright, sparkly ones, but the nude and shimmery are my fave. You can see a little better on my finger. Going for this kind of bronzy one. Ooh, I can feel the sparkle in there. <laughs> That is so dark, look at that one. Really pretty, I could definitely see myself wearing this one. I think I like the first one a little bit more, but this is really nice, especially if you have a little tan. You can pop a little of this on your eyelid. But more than anything, I'm so surprised. Look how shimmery that is. It's got all these sparkles. Actually, instead of showing you the swatch on my hands, I think I'm gonna show my fingers. <laughs> it does the color a little more justice, you can see. Out of both of these, I'm liking this one a little bit more. Third color is this super light gold. I can't really even tell what it is. It kind of looks a little like yellow. So there's the three wet and wild colors. I'm so happy I bought these. I wasn't sure how they were gonna look, but I really, really like them, especially this. I could put that all over my eye, maybe a little of this goldish color on my eyelid. And it is Bohemian Rhapsody. Here's the second eyeshadow I got, and it's by Physician's Formula. I use Physician's Formula a lot. You can buy it really anywhere, Rite Aid, CVS, um, Walmart. They sell it at all the stores. It's not too expensive. It's a really good price. And I went for this trio of eyeshadows. It's called Extreme Shimmer. It says three times custom looks. We get natural, playful, and dramatic. And the colors are champagne, nude, and mocha. Three custom shades for glamorous nude eyes, ooh. And the thing that caught my eye with this was all of the little sparkles. Let's pop them out and test them. Well, here they are, and I couldn't even see how cute these little containers were. Look at this. They're so shimmery, they have all this glitter. So cute to display in my little makeup organizer. So, I think this is the mocha one, and it's more for the dramatic look. Ooh, look at the color. This set didn't actually come with an eyeshadow applicator, which is fine, because I always use my fingers anyway. <laughs> I love to use my fingers and blend it in. Ooh, and this is so, so creamy. I could not believe how creamy this was, and now I'm reading it, it's Extreme Shimmer Gel and Cream Shadow. <gasps> 
That is so cool. I thought they were powder. They're actually cream. So this is the mocha color. I can show you. That is beautiful. It's so subtle. It blends in super easy. You can layer it up and make it a little darker, however dramatic you like. Look at that. That was such a good one. I usually don't wear the dark colors, but it really wasn't dark at all. It was super natural. Going for this one. This must be the champagne color. It's kind of pinkish. I don't think I've ever had creamy shadows like this before. Ooh, put it right next to the first one. Oh, that is so beautiful. <laughs> it's kind of a pinkish, silvery, goldish color. Love that one. I think I like these a little bit more than the Wet and Wild. <laughs> They're just so, so cool. So the third one is, ooh, this is the color I pretty much wear every single day. It's really, really shimmery. Put it right next to this one. This one is pretty much clear. It's got a little, little hint of like, I don't know, a light baby pink. Kind of looks like a lip gloss, that one. Here's the colors, I love them all. I'm so happy I got these. I love the texture, I love the shine. I think I like this one, the mocha one second, and this kind of clear one third. Definitely gonna wear these, they were so good. Here they are again, all of the eyeshadows, six different shades, I love them. I was looking for some playful makeup and I found these really cute colors. These are called Idle Eyes. And basically, they're these little eyeshadow pencils. I got blue and you are gonna love this. It's called Smurf and Turf. <laughs> How cute is that? I also found a green one. I love that color. Not something I would wear every day. And it's called Hash It Out. I have actually never seen these before. I've used eyeshadow crayons, but these are super tiny. They have the cutest shape. Now we gotta test them. So here's the blue one, Smurf and Turf. <laughs> it's got that Smurfy blue color. There it is, and I love it. It is so pretty and shimmery. When you glide this on your hand or your skin, it feels like you're using a cream lipstick or like a lip crayon. You would never know it was an eyeshadow, and I love the texture. You could blend it right in. It's a really pretty color. Now for the Hash It Out color, it's like an emerald green. It's really shimmery too. Another good one, and I am so into the cream shadows right now. I love the creamy eyeshadows. They're so much easier than the powdery ones that kind of get all over the place. Such a nice color. So there's your two pencil shadows. I love both of them. I think I would wear the blue a little bit more, but the green was so awesome. I think I'm most excited about this one. Let's take a little makeup break. There's still more to look at and take a little lip gloss break. This is a 12 piece variety set. It's got roll on lip gloss, tubey lip gloss, and scented candy nail polish. I don't think I've ever seen anything like this before with the nail polishes and the lip glosses together. <laughs> I just had to get it to show it to you guys. It's gonna look so cute in that little organizer. So we get 12 different things here, little beauty products. Let's pop them out and get a closer look. If you guys know me, candy flavored lip balms and glosses are my fave. We got a whole pile here. And the four flavors, we get grape, that is bottle pop. We get a strawberry bliss ring pop. Bazooka original bubblegum flavor, mmm. And we get a push pop cherry. Here's the bottle pop. Oh, it's got a little picture of the candy on there. I love these packages too. The sticker is so bright. This is grape flavored. Oh, and it's got little grapes on the lid. Let's roll it. These are always super clear, but I love them. They kind of feel like oil. Love it. I love these little roller balls. They are so good. They make your lips super shiny. And this one, it smells exactly like grape candy. It's so sweet. It smells like grape juice. Second candy roller is the Ring Pop. Oh, it's a little swirly one, Strawberry Bliss. I don't think I've ever tried the candy one. It's got a picture of a Ring Pop. How cute is that? And it's kind of like a pinkish orangey color. Comes off super clear. Smells okay, doesn't really smell like a Ring Pop or candy. Just 
smells a little bit sweet. Ooh, and it does have a little hint of like a pinkish or reddish color. Look at this bubblegum pink one, and it's bazooka gum. Ooh, I love a good bubblegum lip gloss. Ooh, and this one smells the best so far. It really, really has such a strong bubblegum smell. I love that flavor on my lips. Fourth one is the Push Pop flavor. Oh, there's a little Push Pop guy on there. This is Cherry. Get little cherries on the top. I tested this one out, but it does not smell like cherry. It doesn't smell like a Push Pop. It really has just a plain scent, almost like water. <laughs> but I do love this little container. It makes your lips really glossy. But it doesn't smell too good. Here's for the 2B ones, and they are so cute. Look at these bright containers. So the first one up, we get Bazooka Grape Gloss. Kind of strange, it's got a little cotton candy on there. Maybe it's grape flavored cotton candy. That would be cool. Oop, and these have a little bit of color to them, but once you rub them in, they're really just super clear. Ah, it smells so good. It smells exactly like this one, the Great Bottle Pop, almost the same exact scent. These look a little more glossy on the lips. Second one is this bright red and blue. It is Push Pop. Cherry flavored, oh, look at that little guy. <laughs> these are just the cutest. So cute from her lip balm collection. It's completely clear. Oh, this one is good. Definitely smells like cherry. I love it. We get another ring pop, except this one is star fruit flavored. <laughs> I've never seen that before. I wonder what it's gonna smell like. It's kind of like a green and blue lollipop on the picture. My hand is shining. It's so super soft from all this beauty product today. This one really doesn't smell like much. It doesn't smell like star fruit or really anything. It's just kind of plain. I love that little package. And the last and final one is a bottle pop. I love eating these. Strawberry. I bet it's gonna be pink. Yep, it's like a light pink. Doesn't have too much of a scent. Doesn't even smell like strawberry. It smells more like bubble gum. I tested them all out and I have to say I love how glossy they look. Your lips would look really pretty but they don't smell so great. The smells are super light. They don't smell like candy. Not so great. Final four in the 12 pack are the scented nail polishes. I'm gonna test them out on the paper. I'm wearing my polish already. I don't want to ruin it. And it kind of looks like a reddish orange color. It's super pretty. Here's the Ring Puff Nail Polish. That's what it looks like. It's so pretty. It's got these shimmery little pieces in there. And it doesn't smell like a Ring Pop, but it smells sweet. Not your typical nail polish. Here's the Push Pop one. It's purple, so I'm thinking it's grape flavor. Give it a little smell. It smells like Sweet Tarts. It doesn't even smell like grape. It smells like Sweet Tarts. <gasps> Look at that color. I love it. Here's this little cute blue and yellow bottle. It is the Bottle Pop. I'm thinking this one is lemon and it's got a crystal clear color. Looks like a clear top coat. Yep, super clear. I don't even think there's little sparkles in there. It smells so good. Woo, it smells like lemonade. <laughs> this is the best of the three scents by far. Bazooka, of course it's gonna be pink. I'm sure it's bubblegum flavored. Got those two little kids blowing bubbles on there. How amazing is that? These are just so cute and decorated. <sighs> Another good one. Two four candy colors. They are scented. They're bright. I love them. I think my favorite is the purple, then the red. Here's the whole candy gang together, and you guys can leave me a comment and let me know what you like the best. Did you like the rollers, the little squeezy tubes, or the polishes? I have my shadows, my beauty cream, some glosses, and I need my cheek color. I got two of them. This is so cool. I've never seen it before. It's five colors in one. They're so cute. It's got a little mirror. And another physician's formula, I got a butter bronzer. Let's open this one up first. I am so curious. I see it looks like these little blusher stackers. It's just so cute. When I wear makeup, I wear bronzer every day, but I love to put like a little pinky or peach glow on top of it, just a small layer. 
So here we get one, two, three, four, five. They are our little blusher stackers. This is gonna look so cute in that organizer. So, first one is a super bright pink. We can test it out. Ooh, it's really silky. And sometimes blushes don't have a lot of pigment to them, but I think this one does. Look at it. <laughs> Look at that pink, it's so pretty. Let's flip to the second color. This one is kind of a light baby pink. Ooh, that one's really good too. Here's the third one up. It's kind of like a coral, peachy, orangish color. Different than the other two. So silky though. This is really nice powder. Woo, I like that. Fourth one, we get another pink. Similar to the first pink, I think a couple shades lighter. So pigmented, look at that. Here's a final one. It looks kind of like a rosy, dusty mauve pink. So much different than those. This one is kind of more natural. I could see myself wearing this like every single day. It's not too bright. And in the last little compartment, when you flip the final blush, you get your applicator blusher. Here's a close up of these pinky shades. I love every single one of them. I think my favorite is the last one. This peachy orangey one's really cute. The pinks. This was amazing. Butter bronzer! It's time to test this one out. We tried the pinky shades. Now we're going for a little bit of a natural glow. It's by Physicians Formula, and I was wondering why they call this butter bronzer, but it's made with skin-loving Brazilian butter. Ooh, we have got to try this. Whoa, and have you ever seen a cuter compact than this? And look, it looks all tropical. It's got the greenish yellow, a little bit of purple. I love those palm tree leaves. This is something that I am super psyched about trying because I've seen it for so long and I never actually bought it. <gasps> Look at it, it looks like sand. I could just stare at this all day. It looks like this super silky soft tropical sand. Ooh, it really, really is. Look at that. Woo! Not only does this have the cutest packaging ever, Silky, silky soft bronzer. I love the color. It's actually scented. It smells like cocoa butter or shea butter. Kind of smells like coconut. I think of every single thing we've opened today, this is winning so far. <laughs> I've never had a scented powder. I can smell it from here. It's so strong. It smells like coconut. And when you pop this up, you get an applicating mirror. And oh, look at this. And <laughs> look how cute this is. I've never seen it before. It's like an applicator sponge. It's so, so smooth. I guess this is how you apply it, not with a traditional brush. Woo, I am in love with this. I cannot wait to try it all over my face. It's gonna be smelling tropical. That finishes up the cheek color portion. I got five pinky blushers, one super great scented bronzer. Moving along. And I was desperately in need of some new beauty tools and brushes, so I picked this baby up. It's called Emacs Design. It's a really cute bag, and it is filled. Look at this. Woo! I never really took the time to count exactly how many brushes were in here, but woo! I am blown away. Look at this. And they have this cute bamboo wood. So the bigger ones are definitely like the cheek blushers. Here's one. This one I would say you would use to apply your foundation. This is the kind I use. Oh, they are so smooth. Really like them. It feels like a chunky piece of wood. Oh, you get your little kabuki one. That is so, so cute. I would probably use this one to apply face powder. This one here is for blush and cheek color. Ooh, we even get an eyebrow one. <laughs> Such a good slanted shape to make the perfect eyebrow shape. This is like a super big eyeshadow blusher. You get an eyebrow comb, it's double-sided. Love that. This one here is to do like a little eye smudge with your eyeliner. Such a cool shape, look at that. I don't think I have one like this. Another eyeshadow one. I guess a nice slanted little tip. So I am just so impressed with this. These brushes are going on for days. <laughs> There's so many of them. 
The main ones I use, I'd have to say, are the powder brush, this one to apply my foundation, this little kabuki for like mineral powder. I don't know, you could really use these for anything. So good. With all that shadow we have, we need to pop out our lashes. I got this really cool mascara for fuller lashes. It's called Showing Out. I've never tried it before, but this bright orange color, it just, my eyes went right to it. You always need a good mascara. I have so many of them. <laughs> I have ones with the fiber lashes, so many different colors. Ooh, here it is. Let's take a look at the brush. You can always usually tell by the texture. Ooh, it's got a really cool shape. The color is super black. Sometimes I wear like a dark brown, but most of the time I wear black. Anyway, and it says the special brush creates intense volume for fuller lashes. Yes, <laughs> that's what I like. And the shape tip helps you coat the difficult areas of the eye. Woo, and that has been a lot of makeup and beauty stuff. We are on to the final four. They are all lip products, and after we look at these, we're gonna pop everything into that cute little organizer. Cannot wait. So I have four different things here. Two of them are these Wet n Wild Color Icon Lip Glosses. I've never tried them before, but the color looks so, so good. I got this reddish one in kind of like a fuchsia. I found this visibly wet, shockingly glossy lip pencil. It's by Hard Candy, another brand that I really love using and it's kind of like a reddish maroon color. I also found another hard candy lipstick and it's in bridal blush. Here we go, we're starting with the color Icon by Wet n Wild and come to think about it, in this whole haul, I have never showed any lip color or lipstick, so hopefully we're gonna get some color with this. Those candy glosses were just way too clear. Ah, and that's all we get. Can you believe this? You have to be joking me. Look at the color in the tube. It's just completely clear with a little bit of shimmer. I don't really like that one too much. The reason I got this one was because it was so bright and I wanted to get like a red lip gloss for so long I've been wanting that. So hopefully it's gonna give us some color. What is going on? That is it. It's just so transparent. Look at the color in here. I am just so disappointed with these. Because we're trying the shockingly glossy lip pencil. Ooh, that sounds so cool. I love Hard Candy, such a good brand. I really, really love this. It's not too red. It's not as red as it looks there, but it has kind of a glossy look to it, kind of a lipstick look. I like it so much more than those other ones. Here is our final beauty treat of the day before we fill up our organizer, and it is a lipstick. It's Bridal Blush. I'm not even sure if this is gonna have color. It looks kind of light, but it looks like a nude one, kind of like the colors I like to wear all the time. I also love the package. It's so cool. It's kind of clear with a little bit of black. It's really different. There's the color. Here we go. <laughs> we haven't had the best luck with color today. Completely clear. Ugh. When you look at this color, you know it's going to be light, but it definitely can show up. But it doesn't. It's just completely clear, just like any kind of lip balm or gloss. Ah, striking out today with all of the colors. And here it is, the final thing I wanted to show you. It is my new organizing tray. I just love it. It's a lot bigger than the other one I have. It's got a cute little drawer inside, tons of little compartments. Let's fill it up.
there it is, nice and organized with all of these cute little beauty products. This was actually the perfect size. It fits everything and I hope you enjoyed it. We are gonna have so many more fun videos coming up on the show. This is Bubble Pop Kids. You can click this big red subscribe button here and subscribe to our channel. Have a great day, bye.